you know, why don't we just switch? Why don't I curl up on a pillow on the couch and you can read all this stuff to the camera? What do you think? No? I mean, I'm kind of springing it on you last minute. Just think it over, okay? Hey, folks, you ready for some good news? How come you're getting up and trying to leave as soon as I start the video? Is this your response to the, the offer to switch roles? Apparently so. Anyway, uh, hey everybody, you want to keep your brain healthy as you age? Well, then you better eat your greens. At least that's the conclusion of new research from the University of Illinois. It's been previously established that lutein, a nutrient found in leafy green vegetables like kale and spinach, offers benefits for physical health. Now, those same foods have been found to improve neural responses in middle-aged adults. The Illinois study found that adults at the onset of middle age, typically defined as around age 45, with higher levels of lutein displayed neural activity closer to that of much younger people than people their age with lower lutein levels. The researchers speculate that lutein somehow protects or preserves cognitive function and memory, though more research is needed before they understand how and to what extent that protection operates. For now, eat your spinach. It's good for your body and good for your brain. This study is published in the journal Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience. You have to stay in the shot until the end of the video. That's the agreement that we had. That's the agreement that you signed. You remember you put that little paw print on the paper? Why do you think Papa put ink on your paws? That's a legally binding signature. And I'm sorry about that stain. Thank you very much. I'm glad we have an understanding. Anyway, next up, scientists have identified the moment in time when we experience realizations. The so-called aha moment when you realize the solution to a problem or commit to a difficult decision happens after your brain believes it has gathered enough information on the subject in question. A kind of neurological switch is flipped. Scientists at Columbia University's Zuckerman Mind Brain Behavior Institute have come up with a way to observe that aha moment as it happens in real time. The Columbia scientists discovered that making a decision and becoming consciously aware of having made a decision were separate but similar processes. Previous research allowed them to observe the neurological mechanisms involved in actual decision making. In this study, they not only asked participants to come to a decision, but to subsequently try and pinpoint when they felt they had made their decision. The scientists then compared the participants' estimate of when they felt they had made their decision to the timing of the brain function involved in actually making the decision. If the two matched up, the scientists concluded that the moment of awareness that a decision had been made was an accurate reflection of the moment when the decision was actually made in the brain. This might all sound a little pointless to some folks. Why is it important to know that the moment when the brain makes a decision coincides with the moment when we realize we've made a decision? But research like this represents neuroscientists laying the foundations for biological explanations of things philosophers have been studying for centuries. Consciousness, problem solving, ethics, reason. It raises the prospect that someday we will have a combination of physical science and philosophy upon which to draw in order to attain a truer, deeper understanding of our minds and therefore of ourselves. This study is published in the journal Current Biology. Well, she left. She walked out on me. I guess in a way it's my fault trying to pressure her into taking my job as the host while I curled up on the pillow was not within the bounds of the contract we agreed upon. So, you know, I, I guess I am sort of at fault here, but still a work stoppage in the middle of production is uh, pretty inconvenient. But I guess there's really nothing else I can do except keep going. So here we go. Finally, I know that Emily Dickinson wrote that the brain is wider than the sky, but I think we should spend a few minutes here at the end of the video talking about the sky anyway, just because I think it's fun. For instance, some astronomers have discovered a group of galaxies who formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. The galaxies formed toward the end of the epoch of reionization, 
when the neutral hydrogen that filled the universe was charged by radiation from the first generation of stars. The appearance of those original stars is known as the Cosmic Dawn. That happened around 350 million years after the Big Bang. The 23 galaxies discovered by astronomers at Arizona State University date to about 800 million years after the Big Bang, or 450 million years after the Cosmic Dawn. They are some of the oldest galaxies ever seen. The galaxies were found using the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory's Dark Energy Camera, which is specially designed to detect the faint red light from distant galaxies. The paper on the 23 galaxies found by the ASU team is published in the Astrophysical Journal. Hey, look who's back! The strike is over. There may have been some coercion involved, but let's just say the strike is over. Anyway, eating leafy greens can help keep your brain healthy as you age. Scientists capture the brain's aha moment, and astronomers discover almost two dozen galaxies that date to less than a billion years after the Big Bang. That's the good news. There she goes. Are you really gonna lay over there just off camera, just to spite me? I mean, I, I, I am honestly a little bit impressed. That is a power move. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. You are such a weird, strange creature. You know that? How does my armpit taste? That's just weird. I mean, do you have do you have any self-awareness at all?